Hey guys, it's Hari with Innovative Dental Technologies, the creator of Relief HVE. Um, we've, getting a, we've been getting a lot of questions on the aerosol reduction when it comes to relief. Um, during this try times with the COVID-19 outbreak, a lot of dental professionals are worried about um, you know, pathogens and particles coming in the air um, and are looking for different solutions to be able to uh, remove that aerosol from the air and decrease their chance of getting any type of virus or disease. So we, um, we decided to make this test today um, and hopefully show you the how well um, relief suctions aerosols and provides hands-free suction. Um, a couple questions before we start is, um, we got a question is, is relief HVE as good as the HVE? And it's kind of hard to tell because relief is so thin um, and flexible, but if you look at the surface area of the 280 degree suction area, plus, plus the orifice size, it's actually the same surface area as the orifice of um, an HVE2. And you'll also notice that um, it also provides hands-free suction. So it's, there's multiple benefits with this product. Um, we, we stand by it, we absolutely love it, um, especially for hygiene appointments. Um, you also notice that each two planes are offset. And the reason that they're offset, it prevents the cheek from suck, getting suctioned in. So it provides consistent suction, even though you might have some tissues, some tissue in the oral cavity that might, you might think will obstruct this, um, this area of suction. Um, another question that we, we get is, um, can the patient close down on relief? And yes, the patient can talk, they can communicate, you can use this in conjunction with a bite block. And that's really important because when you're dealing with someone who needs to cough or they need to sneeze, um, they can close down a relief at any time during the procedure and directly evacuate any type of material, fluid, um, you know, particles, whatever you want to call it, immediately before it even exits the mouth. And that's what we, we want to shut a show with this video is how well that does it. So how are we going to prove this? How are we going to show this? Well, we, we decided to purchase a smoke machine or a steam machine that will emit smoke out of this tube. Um, and we're going to shoot it directly into the oral cavity um, with our volunteer. And that's going to fill up the oral cavity with smoke. And then we're going to turn on relief and we, you can actually see the smoke just dissipate. Um, we're also going to do this with a slow speed saliva ejector um, that is um, curly cued around the patient's cheek. Um, a lot of hygienists like to use that to try to get that hands-free effect. Um, and you can see how effective that is. And you can see in the video, relief is far superior in removing aerosols um, than um, just getting in a slow speed saliva injector um, and trying it that way. And keep in mind that relief has a, a U-bend right here, which is equal length. And that greatly helps evacuate that saliva, the water, the debris, the aerosols. Um, so what you're gonna see with this test is we're gonna leave relief off and we're gonna um, put the smoke in the oral cavity and you're gonna see the oral cavity start filling up with smoke and exiting the mouth. And then we're gonna turn relief on and then you're gonna see how well relief just removes all that smoke all that aerosols out of the air. And we're gonna to continue to do that on and off, on and off, so you can get the idea of how well relief works. Off. On.
Open big. There we go. Open. 